Cleaning can be so much easier and faster, at least if you know these 10 cleaning tricks. Find out how they work and why you should always use them in future in this video. For our first trick, we need baking paper, because you can actually use baking paper not only for baking but also for cleaning. This works particularly well in your bathroom, as you are no doubt familiar with all those limescale stains that are always to be found on the shower fittings and before you get out any cleaning agent and start scrubbing like crazy, all you need is a bit of baking paper. Because if you use this, you only have to rub it over once, as you can see here, and all the limescale stains will disappear. You can even get rid of stubborn limescale stains wonderfully. This happens due to the coating of the baking paper. And it doesn't just work on the shower fittings, but also on this glass door, as in my case. Here too, I simply take some baking paper, rub it over, and in the end, it's completely gone again. Thanks to the coating that we apply here, new limescale doesn't form so quickly. That's why baking paper is a real insider tip for cleaning. For our second trick, we need dishwasher tabs, because you can also use these not only in your dishwasher. Thanks to their cleaning properties, they can also be used to clean many other things. Later in the video, I'll show you another really ingenious way to do this. But now let's take care of our shower, because it will eventually become discolored and yellowed and you can clean it up wonderfully with a dishwashing tab. To do this, pour hot water into your bath or shower tray. Now add one or two dishwasher tabs and wait until they have completely dissolved. Leave them to work for about an hour. When the time is up, you should definitely put on gloves and then you can start wiping your shower or bathtub. After you have wiped everything out well, you just have to rinse it out again and then you will see that the bathtub is really nice and clean again. It will also unblock the drain when the water flows through it. This means that by letting the water out again here, we are also cleaning our drain with the dishwasher tap. And for the third trick, we'll stick with the dishwashing tab again, because it also allows us to clean something else that would otherwise be a real pain. You've probably noticed that the baking tray or grid is very dirty and you probably don't feel like cleaning it. But with the dishwasher tab, it's wonderfully quick and easy and you don't have to do much. Grab a dishwasher tab for this. First, you should crush it a little so that it dissolves more easily. Hit it with a hammer, Tip it into a bowl and add boiling water. This will slowly dissolve the dishwasher tab. You have to wait about half an hour until it has completely dissolved. Then we can move on to the next step. You can now use this liquid to get your baking tray wonderfully clean. However, it should remain in this liquid for a little while so that the effect is really good. To do this, grab a bin liner that fits your oven rack. Place it in there and add all the liquid. You should also pour hot water over it now. There must be enough water in the bag so that the entire oven rack remains under the water. Tie it shut and leave it in your shower or bathtub. You can now leave it to soak for two to three hours. Then you just have to take it out and wipe off the coarse dirt again briefly, because all possible dirt should have already been completely loosened here. By tipping the water back through the drain, you will of course also have the cleaning power for the drain again, and so you can clean your oven grill without the hassle of scrubbing. Now I have a really quick trick for you. When you want to clean a whisk like this, you also always find it sucks that you have to clean each individual piece separately. This means you have to go through each bar with the cloth. It's actually much easier because you can easily fold up a whisk. Press the grids a little on both sides, and you have a layer where you can walk around with a cloth and everything is clean again without having to wipe through each bar individually. For the next really ingenious cleaning trick, let's take care of our tap. And all we need for this are paper towels like these. We also need some vinegar. You should now pour some of the vinegar into a bowl, pure vinegar. The first step is to grab a brush and rub your tap with it, especially in places where you find a lot of lime scale. This is usually at the bottom of the tap. Once you've done that, we can move on to the paper towels. However, you should put on some gloves beforehand. Now place the paper towels in the vinegar so that they are completely soaked. The next step is to place them around the tap. Again, of course, in the places where all the lime scale is to be found. Give them a good squeeze so that they have a really good connection. This will ensure that the vinegar sticks to the calcified areas and doesn't just run down again. If you still have some vinegar in the bowl, you can pour it over here. It should now soak for a while, depending on how badly calcified your tap is, for one to two hours. 
When the time is up, you can remove the cloths again and you should see that there is significantly less lime scale on the tap. Now rub over it again with a cloth, wipe everything well again so that all the vinegar is removed and then you can already see the before and after result here. And without you having to scrub wildly. Here's another quick trick. If you have stored something in a can, for example some spaghetti with bolognese sauce or something red, then you will have to scrub the can thoroughly afterwards. But there is a much better trick. To do this, you should put hot water in the tin, then a small drop of washing up liquid and now paper towels, which you fold up so that they fit into the tin. Simply throw them in here and then put the lid on in the next step. Close it tightly and shake the can a few times. About 30 to 60 seconds should be enough. Because if you now take the lid off, you can simply remove and dispose of the wipes and the can is completely clean again. All red discoloration is gone. Rinse it again and you no longer have to scrub wildly. For our next trick, we want to mix washing up liquid and salt because we can use them to achieve a really brilliant cleaning performance for certain things, which I will show you in a moment. The first step is the mixing ratio. You should put 100 milliliters of washing up liquid in a container. Now add another 100 milliliters of water. The third ingredient is our salt, simply conventional salt. You need two tablespoons of this, which you now also add to the water and washing up liquid. And in the last step, we need one last ingredient, namely a tablespoon of baking soda. Once you have added all the ingredients to the container, you need to stir everything really well until everything is mixed together. At best, the salt and baking soda should have almost completely dissolved. You can also find baking soda in my store. You can find the link in the video description below. Once you've finished mixing the mixture, it's best to take an old washing up liquid container as we can fill it with this mixture and store it for a little longer. This means you don't have to use it all up straight away. And whenever you need some of it now, you can take it out. But what exactly can we actually clean with it now? This is a really good and highly effective homemade stainless steel cleaner. You can use it to clean your sink for example. Put some on it, wipe it over again and everything is clean again. And it actually works better than pure washing up liquid. And the same goes for stainless steel pots and pans. You can get everything made of stainless steel incredibly well and easily clean with this cleaner. And while we're on the subject of baking soda, I have another insider tip for you. For this one, we also need a lemon. If you have burnt your stove and something has overflowed, as you can see here, you can really get the stove clean again without scrubbing with this combination. To do this, cut open the lemon and put the cut side of half a lemon into the baking soda so that a good amount of baking soda sticks to it, as you can see here. The next step is to take it to your stove where the burnt on stains are. This is where we should spread the soda. Rub the lemon over the entire stain. Squeeze the lemon every now and then so that a good amount of the lemon juice ends up on the stove. You will quickly notice that it starts to foam properly. That's what we want to achieve. Once you have spread all this juice and some baking soda on the stove, you should wait. You can of course add more baking soda in between. You should now wait for about 30 to 40 minutes because that's how long it will take for all the dirt to dissolve. When the time is up, we can wipe everything off again. As you can see with me, I don't have to scrub here anymore. I wipe over it once and all the burnt spots have actually completely disappeared thanks to a little baking soda and half a lemon. Do you want to give your mirror a quick clean but don't feel like getting out lots of cleaning products? Then I have a really ingenious trick for that too. Because all you need to clean mirrors is a conventional coffee filter because you can actually clean mirrors wonderfully with this. This works particularly well due to the texture of coffee filters. Simply take it and rub it over your mirror. You will quickly notice that all possible streaks and dirt are completely removed and you'll end up with a clean mirror without having to get out any cleaning products. And if you use a hand brush and shovel and it bothers you that a lot of the dust just flies back over the top of the shovel and spreads further around the apartment, then all you have to do is use a little water. Spray the shovel a little so that it is slightly damp because then when you sweep now everything should just stick in here. Would you like to know 7 more unexpected ways to clean your toilet? Then be sure to watch the video you see on the screen at this point. Because I'll show you some real secret tricks there.